Today, my lords, gentlemen and ladies, that you have re rejoined me once again. See, for today is indeed the 17th day of October in the year of our Lord, 1739. And after 17 years and a half labour, contrivance and fatigue, I have successfully obtained a charter for the maintenance and education of exposed and deserted young children. That charter was signed by His Majesty King George II on the 14th of August this year, 1739. And indeed, we obtained a seal upon the 17th of October. And that seal I designed myself, based upon Pharaoh's daughters uh, and the maids finding Moses, the infant, in the Ark of Bulrushes. For after all, Moses is the first foundling that we read of. Quite so. Now, I then addressed the Board of Governors, the first meeting of them, at Somerset House, with 170 governors present. And then I read out the words of the Charter, and then addressed the Duke of Bedford, for he was the first president. And I read this speech to him thus. It is with inexpressible pleasure that I now present your grace at the head of this noble and honourable corporation, with His Majesty's Charter for establishing a hospital for exposed children free of all expense, through the assistance of some compassionate great ladies and other good persons. My Lord, although my decline in years will not permit me to hope see in the full accomplishment of my wishes, I can now rest satisfied. That is what I esteem an ample reward of more than 17 years expensive labor and steady application. I see now your grace at the head of this charitable trust assisted by so many noble and honourable gentlemen. Under such powerful influences and directions, I am confident of the first success of my endeavours, and that the public will one day reap the happy and lasting fruits of your graces and the corporation's measure. And as long as my life and poor abilities endure, I shall not abate of my zealous wishes and most active services for the good prosperity of this truly noble and honourable corporation. So, as I trust you will appreciate, my time is now very much taken up with the affairs of the hospital. I must get back to work, for I have to secure subscriptions, legacies, and now we have to obtain a temporary lease for a building we can begin our work in before the main hospital is indeed erected. And we must fix the rules for the admission of children no one older than the age of two months or suffering from any disease like the itch or the pox or like disease can be admitted. But most of all, what we must do, make those first admissions and begin this great work of looking after those unfortunate foundlings. So busy we are now, the governors are meeting twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday. And so I must be about my business. I will take my leave of you once again, but if any of you wish to make subscriptions to the hospital, or legacies indeed, so the work can continue in the future, you'll make an old man very happy. Mm. Good day to you.